now discussing about the anatomical features of the lichen orbiteris here we have the uh, beautiful uh, image of a fossil of a stem of lichen orbiteris so this uh, stem fossil is going to give us detail like uh, we have uh, a broad cortex bounded by the uh, single epidermis so outermost layer will be the single epidermis even uh, there are reports saying there is a presence of a hairs uh, outer to this epidermis hair like structure cortex is divisible into two zones outer cortex and the inner cortex outer cortex and inner cortex have not been labeled here uh, but outer cortex usually have these uh, thick walled uh, radially arranged or radial patches of the sclerent chymatous cells uh, so this might be the outer cortex and inner to this this region it might be um, inner cortex inner cortex uh, made up of the parenchymatous cells now there is a ring uh, saying secondary growth secondary wood this ring so this ring is nothing but a secondary wood is present which indicates a secondary growth in lichenopterus even uh, some strands of the uh, primary xylem are visible here uh, these uh, primary xylem are mesarch type now we have uh, different kinds of uh, xylems like endarch exarch followed by this one is mesarch in exarch protoxylem will be uh, protoxylem is situated uh, towards the periphery and uh, metaxylem towards the center opposite will be the uh, endarch whereas in mesarch uh, metaxylem develops both internally and ex externally to the protoxylem internally as well as externally to the protoxylem who will be present metaxylem such condition of a xylem is called as a mesarch so we have a mesarch type of xylem in in a lichenopterus uh, indicating this uh, mesarch xylem are present inside this secondary wood uh, what it indicates it indicates the presence of cambium that's the reason it is showing secondary wood nothing but a, a secondary growth Secondary growth is nothing but a formation of a woody stems. That's the reason even though it is a climber, it has got a woody stem. Uh, we have even a leaf traces present. So presence of the leaf trace is nothing but an uh, indication that it had uh, ectofloic siphonos siphonosteel. So steel was ectofloic uh, siphonosteel. Uh, apart from that, we have a pith. So central pith, this is a large and it is made up of a parenchymatous cells and it processes a, a frequent clusters of a small, small uh, sclerotic cells. The, usually they are referred as a sclerotic nest. Now what exactly sclerotic nest are? The name itself is saying uh, these uh, cells are usually made up of sclerenchymatous cells. Sclerenchymatous. So, sclerenchymatous cells are nothing but a thick walled cell. The main function of them is to provide a mechanical strength or support to this stem. So, this was a description regarding the anatomical features of a stem of lichenopterus.